Hey guys, in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be animating some props in uh, Draw Plus X6 and then importing those animated props into Crazy Talk Animator. Now if you recall in the previous tutorial what we did is we actually uh, imported in these simple props here, uh, this nice little arrangement with the pineapple and the uh, cake and everything like that, and we imported them as Flash SWF files into Crazy Talk Animator and we saved them as uh, iProps in our content manager here. You can see that we have uh, the party platter and the strawberry cake that I saved. So I can just maybe uh, import in that strawberry cake again. And there you go, we can uh, import that into any scene we have. And uh, that's a very simple process by exporting via uh, Draw Plus X6 into Crazy Talk Animator. So let's get started on animating our graphic in Draw Plus X6. So let's go back to uh, Draw Plus and we're going to do a uh, new animation. So we'll go to File, New and Keyframe Animation. And what I'm going to do is first of all, make sure I go to File and Page Setup and I'm going to choose a little bit of a larger size, uh, the size we used before, the DVD and TSC. And make sure that in animation, make sure that in animation you have a transparent background set to yes. And if you want a smoother transition or a smoother animation, you can set the frames per second to something like 30. Um, if you're having compatibility issues, you can change your flash version to something else and give that a shot. And if you find that your flash uh, file is too large, which is very rare in this case, you can uh, change the uh, bitmap quality to a lower value. I'm just going to keep it the way it is right now and go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to press Control minus to zoom out a little bit. And there's our work area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import in a graphic, a uh, vector graphic from the gallery here. You can see we uh, let's undock the gallery really quickly. And you can see we have the uh, pop band, 60s pop band right here. This is in the uh, British clip art collection under uh, people. And what I'm going to do is just click and drag those guys in. They look uh, conspicuously like the Beatles, uh, but we're going to modify them a little bit before we get into the animation. So first of all, I'm going to dock the gallery back over here. There we go. And uh, the first step if you want to modify any of these graphics is you want to ungroup them. So in this little icon down here, just select ungroup selected group. And now you can modify each part individually. You can move it, adjust it, uh, you know, warp it or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to zoom in really quick on their uh, faces and I'm going to select their hair. So you can see they all have the same color hair, but let's spice it up a little bit. Let's give these guys uh, some different colors of hair. So I'm going to select the fill swatch right here and give this guy kind of a pink color hair. He's a nonconformist. He's a punk 60s band guy. Uh, and then we'll choose the uh, guy on the left. We'll give him a nice, uh, put a nice shade of uh, orange there. I think that looks kind of cool. There we go. And the uh, middle guy will give him something, uh, I don't know, maybe a, a nice blue color. So you can see we got some party dudes. Uh, they're ready to rock out. So we need to animate them. Uh, the first thing I want to do to animate uh, your characters is go down here in the uh, storyboard and make sure that we select insert. Uh, I'm going to insert some keyframes. And I'm going to insert uh, four keyframes here. And the keyframe duration, I'm just going to change that to 0.5. So this will be a bit, this will be the amount of time between each keyframe, and I'll locate them after the current keyframe. So make sure that you don't have insert blank keyframe selected, and just press OK. It'll create a copy of this uh, frame, uh, four copies actually, and you can see they are all the same right now. So what I want to do is go into each frame and animate them individually. Let's go to the second frame first, and let's start with the guy on the left, the uh, carrot top over here. I'm going to select this guy. And make sure that you have everything you want selected. If, for example, I have the uh, the face only partially selected, you can see that it won't select everything there. And if I try to move it, it'll kind of become disembodied there. And that's not really a fun way to dance. So let's go ahead and Control Z and undo that. And let's make sure we select everything on the character. And you can see we have the little nub from the guitar, the other guy's guitar selected as well. So if we want to deselect that, I'm just going to hold the Shift key and click it and that will deselect anything that you don't want selected. Now what we want to do is we want to kind of rotate this guy and make him sway back and forth. So let's try and do that right away. We have everything that we want selected, and let's try and rotate him to the left. And you can see, whoops, he kind of, uh, you know, parts from his legs, and he rotates around this rotation point on the shoulder, which is not what normal humans do. So let's go ahead and Control Z and undo that, and let's bring the rotation uh, pivot point here. Uh, you can see the cursor changes to an X when it's over top of it. 
bring it down to the hips where the normal people uh, will sway from. And let's kind of rotate this guy a little bit to the left and like have him kind of lean back just like that. And that's our first frame of animation there. So you can see we have this frame right here and this frame right here. And then he will gradually go back to the original frame. But in between that, we want him to kind of like go back and forth a couple times. Let's go from here, uh, second frame to the third frame. And again, bring his pivot point down to his hips there. Let's have him kind of, you know, lean forward like that. And then uh, the fourth frame, we'll do the same thing. Bring his pivot point back like that. And have him kind of lean backwards like that. And so now you can see he's kind of do, 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 back forth and back to normal. So let's go ahead and uh, play that back. This is a little preview button you can uh, check out here. And this is going to kind of just uh, render all those uh, frames and give us a look at his animation. You can see he's kind of just, uh, you know, bobbing back and forth. And uh, that's kind of what we want. We want all the guys to be doing that. But this guy, I also want to move his mouth as well. So let's go to this frame and the second frame right here. Just select his mouth. And I'm going to scale the mouth down like that. And this one here, we can uh, leave it open like that. This one here, we'll scale it down again like that. And take a look what happens if we preview this one. You know, just render those frames out. So now he's kind of just singing, like yada, yada, yada. And that's exactly what we want. So let's do the same thing for the other guys. Uh, we have this guy just swinging back and forth. In this frame, let's see, we'll have the uh, middle guy. Uh, actually, we'll go do the guy on the right first. And make sure we have everything selected for him. And again, the same procedure. Kind of bring his pivot point down to his hips there. And kind of lean back like that. And this frame right here, uh, pivot point down to the hips and have him lean forward like that. And third frame, have the pivot point to the hips and lean back like that. And now we have the both guys dancing. Let's go ahead and take a look. Preview that really quickly. And we should have both guys just kind of rocking out, swinging back and forth like that. There we go. All right. Looks fine to me. Uh, this guy, we forgot to animate his face as well, so let's uh, take his mouth and shut it a little bit. There we go. And this one, have the regular mouth. This one, have it uh, closed down one more time. And there we go. He looks kind of sad there. Uh, anyway, so there's our animation for the first two characters. So there we have this one. And for this one, when this guy, when these guys are moved back, I want this guy in the middle to kind of just, you know, um, squash down a little bit, um, just like that. Just a tiny little bit, and when he's uh, when they're together, he's gonna just you know pop up like that, and then when he's uh, when they're apart again, he's gonna you know squash down the middle like that, and let's take a look. Let's uh, see what that uh, result looks like. It's always a good idea to uh, you know preview uh, every time before you export, so you can see he's just kind of you know rocking out, and both these guys are uh, they're all kind of rocking out. So this is pretty much it. That's all there is to the animation. Uh, add as many keyframes as you want. Make sure that you're, uh, if you uh, take a look at the uh, last keyframe here and the first keyframe, make sure that those are the same if you want a, uh, a loopable motion, uh, which we do in this case. We want these guys to be, you know, rocking out. Uh, they're going to join the party. They're going to join this, uh, the, the guy in the office. They're going to join his party. And uh, so what we need to do is we need to go file and export. We're going to export again as a Flash SWF. We can also export as a video, but normally the Flash Swift files would be a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll call this uh, Rockin' Dudes like that. And save it onto our desktop. And now it's doing the same thing. It's just exporting that animation. So when this is finished, let's go back down to our uh, desktop. And here we have Rockin' Dudes right here. And I'm just going to click and drag this um, alt tab over to our Crazy Talk project and bring these guys into our scene. And you may get that, uh, that uh, notification again. We'll just press OK. And these guys should animate no problem. You can see they're a little bit smaller, but because I animated them as uh, you know vector files, uh, Flash SWFs, so we can scale them unlimited, and they will maintain you know the line clarity. You can see we can zoom in really close, and the clarity of their lines is maintained. So let's go ahead and uh, bring these guys into our scene. Let's give this guy a little bit of company. Um, so this is turning out to be a really rockin' office party. Well, maybe these guys are about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller than him since they're going to be off in the distance. And they're going to be playing a song about the joys of PowerPoints, like you can see on the uh, screen right there. And you can, uh, by the way, you can use this little um, 
tool at the bottom of, of the uh, selection here to bring them back and forth on the z-axis. So let's just bring them back like that. We can, uh, you know, have them um, go behind the wall, which we don't really want. That should be just fine. And let's go ahead and play this back. So now you can see they're just kind of uh, dancing. They're they're rocking out. They're uh, they're singing, and this guy is just standing here, kind of confused as to what's going on. Uh, but that's basically it. That's uh, that's how you animate uh, uh, props, your your vector graphics, really quickly uh, in Draw Plus X6, and you can export them to uh, Crazy Talk Animator as animated Swift files, and you get something exactly like this. So thanks for joining this uh, office party, and hopefully you learned something from this tutorial. And again, thanks for watching.